Hey everybody, it's Lissa and today I am here doing the video that everyone has been asking for for the past like two years. Ever since I started piercing myself, people are constantly every single day asking me to make a video about all of my piercing, pain, when I got them, what they look like now, and everything like that. So I'm just gonna put all this in a video, show you guys all my piercings and the ones I still have and don't have anymore. And then you guys can stop asking because it's, it's a lot of questions that I get every day. So if one side of my face looks like I got like beat up, up, it's because I just took like a four hour nap. I composed a timeline and I'm going to tell you guys every single piercing that I've ever gotten. It's not many. I believe altogether the most I've had is 14. I could be wrong, but so to get started, the first piercing I ever had was my first holes on my ears. Obviously they're stretched now, but I got my first holes pierced when I was like five years old. I was really young. I don't remember the pain. Um, it's probably felt like every other ear piercing, which is like a two out of 10 pain scale. And I just remember wanting to get my ears pierced. And so I got them done when I was around five years old. Then I went to Claire's and I got my second holes pierced and I got those pierced when I was 10 years old. All lobe piercings pretty much feel the same so again it's like a 2 out of 10. I did go to Claire's for the first and second ones and I believe the third ones as well. Which brings me to my third holes. I was 12 when I got my third ones done at Claire's and it was for my 12th birthday. I remember exactly because the main focus of my 12th birthday was getting a third ear piercing. But then I took the third holes out. I actually took all of my earrings out and I re-pierced my third holes when I was 16. So the third holes did close up because it wasn't that long ago from when I was 12 to 16 I guess. They just closed up and then I don't have them anymore but I had my fourth and fifth. I still have my fourth. So I re-pierced my fourth when I was 18 but when I originally had my fourth and fifth holes I was 16. But again I took them out and they closed up so I re-pierced them. I have a whole video which I'm gonna put all of my piercing videos like in a playlist so you guys can click them if you want to. But I have a video that I made when I re-pierced like some of my third and fourth holes. They just close up a lot so I have a lot of scar tissue in there but right now I just have my first, second, third, and fourth. So those are the basic piercings. So most of you guys know from my ear stretching journey I started stretching my ears when I was 16. I am now 19. So it's been three years since I've stretched my ears. I'm at a double zero so it took about a year to stretch. I would say it should have taken longer but I rushed some of the stretches. So I started stretching when I was 16 and then that stopped at 17. Those are what my ears look like. They're double zero, healthy, healed, doing good. So when I was 16 was kind of when I went through like my rebel phase, you know, the, I don't know, like the piercing and like I want tattoos phase, which like I still am in. So maybe it's not a phase, but I started piercing myself, which you guys have seen on my channel. They're my most popular videos is when I pierce myself. So at 16, I pierced my cartilage first, which as you guys can see, is not here anymore, but I'll show you the scar. I don't know if you can see, but there's a scar right there from where it was. And it's gross and then the back is like that bump. I don't know if you guys can see. That's the scar from it. I pierced it when I was 16 and I took it out when I was 19 and it still hurt every single day. And I don't know if that's just because my ear was sensitive. This is not my good ear. I'm not sure, maybe I pierced it wrong. I could have done it, I did it at home. Obviously there's something that could have went wrong. Nothing got infected or anything when it was healing. It just felt like a bruise every single day. So I just took it out. I was tired of dealing with it and I, I don't regret taking it out. I was tired of the pain and I couldn't sleep on it for three years. For three years I couldn't sleep on this ear because of just that stupid piercing. So I decided to take it out. A lot of people ask me why it's not there anymore. That's the reason why obviously it was a really pretty piercing if I ever want to get it done again I'm not gonna get it done in the same spot because that scar tissue right there is large okay I forgot to say this the pain scale for my ear stretching was probably like a max 5 out of 10 the 8 gauge to 6 gauge was what hurt the most so I would say that was probably like a 5 or 6 out of 10 and then all the ear piercings were 2 out of 10 and then the helix piercing was probably like a 6 out of 10 the initial shock I think the helix piercing was the most painful piercing I've ever had which is crazy to say but honestly that was was the most painful one I've ever had. And then after I pierced my helix, I went and pierced my tragus, which I have had zero problems with. I had no problems with my tragus piercing, and I've had this jewelry in here since I pierced it. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is what it looks like. I switched from a hoop to this like stud. It has like a flat bar in the back. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've had this jewelry in it for three years now. I just don't like to change it, and I've had no problems with it. I never got any keloids or anything like that. They're just, it's a great piercing. It never hurt, nothing like that. So, 
pain scale out of that was probably like a 4 out of 10. Everybody says that this is like the most painful piercing they ever had, but it didn't hurt for me. And that could have been because my adrenaline was like pumping. And I love it. This is like probably like my second favorite piercing. Because I just think it's really complimenting. I think it's really pretty. It's not that noticeable, but when you see it, it just, it looks really pretty. I really like it. So next, I got my first nose pierced when I was 17. I was about to turn 18 because my mom had a rule that I couldn't get it pierced till I was 18. But since I was so close to being 18, she just finally let me get it. So this is my first right here and it's a hoop right now. I've had it pierced for two years now, almost two years, so it's completely healed. Yeah, I just have a black hoop in it. The hoop doesn't really fit that well. But yeah, uh, this is like my top piercing because I just love the way it looks. I just think it complements my face good. The pain scale out of this was probably like a three out of 10. It just felt like pulling a nose hair. That's literally the only feeling that I could tell you. And I did have my original jewelry in for like over a year because I couldn't get the screw out. That was the worst. I just sat in my room like, crying while trying to screw the the jewelry out of my nose. It took a while but I eventually changed it and now I have like tons of nose rings I really like except this one doesn't fit. And I get most of my nose jewelry from bodycandy.com because it's really cheap. I'm just gonna put the links down below for all the websites I buy my jewelry. And then when I was 18 I pierced my belly button. That video is also on this channel. I'm not gonna show you because there's like a keloid on it. I don't know if keloids get on belly button piercings. It's not infected or anything like there's nothing infection wise but there's like a bump on there and it feels like what a keloid feels like. It's kind of gross. It's just like a bump on the piercing. There's no like crustiness or anything because I clean it but my belly button piercing didn't really hurt. It was like a maybe 5 out of 10. About the same as stretching your ears. When I pierced it, it was kind of more like a shock feeling more than a painful piercing because I like stabbed something through my stomach which when I think about it now, it makes me queasy and I would never do it again. It was just kind of like one of those in the moment things where I just wanted to get my belly button pierced so I just went ahead and did it. And then my last piercing that I have so far in January of 2018. It might change this year and I might get more. Who knows? But my last piercing is my double nose piercing, which I also have that video on my channel. As you guys can see, it's like a running thing that I pretty much do most of my piercings myself at home just because I trust myself. I've never gotten an infection and I've, I use professional tools and needles and stuff like that. So I think I do a pretty good job at it. At least my recent ones, like my belly button and my nose. The past ones, not so much, but now I do. This is my second nose piercing right there. I have not changed the original jewelry. That's still the L-shaped one that I pierced it with. I'm waiting for it to heal. I'm pretty sure I've gone past the time where I can change it, but I just want to be sure. I can't wait to change this where I can put this one as a hoop and then this one as a stud because I think it'll look really good as a hoop right there. I love this piercing. I think it is beautiful. I At first, I didn't like the way they looked together, but now I can't imagine myself without both of them. I just feel like it fits good. I feel like my nose is big enough for it and it's just really pretty. Surprisingly, no one ever notices that it's there. So this nose piercing hurt about the same as the original. I think I said like a 3 out of 10. I don't remember what I said, but it didn't hurt. Again, I did it myself at home. The only problem I had with this nose piercing, I never had any keloids on any of my nose piercings, so I haven't had any problems with that, which I'm glad. But I went to sleep one night and I woke up the next morning, and this was probably like two or three weeks after I pierced it, and my nose ring was not in my nose. I don't think you guys, like the panic, that was going through my mind. I was looking for the nose jewelry. I was panicking. I was like trying to shove it back in my nose because it already started to heal over. It was already a scab on the hole, which I just had to like pick it off. I know this is kind of gross, sorry. But I had to like pick off the scab and then it took me a little while to get the jewelry back in. It did go all the way through. I'm having a hard time getting back through, but since then it hasn't come out of my nose. I wake up every morning and touch my nose to make sure it's still there. Stuff, I always check all of my piercings in the morning when I wake up because I just have a fear that they're going to be gone, which that morning it was, so I freaked out. <laughs> and luckily I got it back in and I didn't have to re-pierce it because the thought of re-piercing my nose again kind of made me a little queasy. Obviously there's a lot of other piercings that I would like to get, but I I just, I love the way different piercings look, but those are the type of piercings that I would not do at home because they're in such tricky parts of your ear. Like right there, I would not have the balls to stick a needle through that. Mm -mm. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. That was all of my piercings, the pain, my experience, I guess. Um, most of my experience was at home. So if you guys want to see the video of like my full experience, then you can just go watch the videos if you haven't already. So I said this before, but I'm going to be uploading videos every Monday and Friday. So stay tuned for another video this Friday and it's probably 
probably gonna be a hair dye video. I'm going to try to dye my hair a different color, not too dramatic from what is fading right now. It's barely even purple anymore, as you guys can tell, but I'm changing my hair color, so get ready for that. And I have a lot of fun videos coming for you guys. If you guys would like to see a certain video, then just comment down below. Anything that you guys would like to see, I'm up for anything unique and new. As you guys know, I'm not really one type of genre on my channel. I kind of just do what I love, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!